It's Sukkis. There's a lot of things going on. There are all sorts of weird traditions with Sukkis. Uh, I'm standing in a semi-permanent structure. What the hut? Right? It's a sukkah. What is a sukkah? What's the lemon thing? Where do they come from? This is Tripping Kosher. Hi, my name is Rabbi Tzvi Holland. I'm a cashless administrator at Star K Kosher Certification. Uh, this is uh, what is becoming my sukkah. Sukkah is our house, our temporary house for a week. It reminds us that uh, God took us out of Egypt and, and took care of us in a sukkah. To the extent that there's good weather, we eat in the sukkah, we sleep in the sukkah, we hang out in the sukkah, so go out and be with God for a week. What is that weird lemon thing? This. It's called a citron, but in Judaism, it's called an etrog. What do we know about these? We don't know anything about these. We're gonna travel to one of those really intense kosher Orthodox neighborhoods to find out more about the lemon. Esrog, lemon esrog. This is a kind of citrus, but it's not a lemon, it's not an orange. It calls a trog. Torah says it has to be a beautiful fruit. Now these particular ones come from Calabria, which is the southern region in, uh, in Italy. The reason why we like to get the estrogen from Calabria is because there's a tradition, there's a few reasons. The etrog can't be grafted from any other fruit. It has to be specifically the citron fruit that's described in the Torah. In Calabria, there's tradition that they don't graft the trees. They're not grafted from any other fruit and therefore we have, since we have that tradition we try to get from Calabria. There's also a tradition that uh, Moshe Rabbeinu, Moses, was taken by God on the clouds of glory to the southern region of Italy, to Calabria, to pick an estra. This is a beautiful shape, a beautiful shape and it has bumps, some people don't like bumps but that's the yeah. The true, the true uh, looks of the asterisk has to be bumpy, bumpy, yellowish. Some people like greenish, but most like yellow. It becomes yellow within time. And this is the pitum, that's the, like the head of the uh, asterisk. This makes six times bigger. You have nothing in this throw. No point, no, no damage, nothing on the form. The form must be grazia, nice, the same for all sides. And this is beauty, beautiful, beautiful mehudar. There's four things the Torah tells us to take and, and hold. Um, the esrog is the citron, it tastes good, it smells good. There's the date palm closed uh, lulav, the closed, the closed date palm branch, um, which tastes good but has no smell. And then we have the myrtle the myrtle branch that has a great smell but doesn't have a taste, and then we have the willow branch that has no smell and no taste. We bring them all together. You say a brocha, you say a blessing, and you shake it. Uh, to symbolize all the different kinds of Jews there are, and to celebrate uh, our, our oneness as a people and our ability for everybody to grow and be together with God in the sukkah. They also, the willow is the lips, the myrtle is the eyes, the, the lulav, the palm branch is, is your spine, and the esrog is your heart. So it also symbolizes the totality of humanity and, and of a human being.